how can we fight gender identity in school curriculum while supporting lesbians and gays in schools and also supporting gender non-conformity? Uh, to be honest, I think that's, um, that's very easy. I think you start in early years with you, you challenge um, gender stereotypes. You don't have girls' toys and boys' toys. You have all the toys for all children and you make no comment on it if a little girl's interested in dinosaurs and trucks or a little boy is interested in dolls and dressing up. So you have, you have all activities available to all children from the off. You have inclusive um, books from the off, like the book I've seen mentioned in the chat is Rachel Rooney's All About Me. That's a lovely book, um, really inclusive pictures. Um, one of the drawings, the little girl clearly has two mums. I think there's another one with a parent in a wheelchair. So you just start off from inc including everyone and challenging gender stereotypes. Uh, particularly with young lesbians think they could benefit from lesbian role models coming into schools. At the moment, um, we seem to have a lot of drag queens coming into school or... Um, trans women coming into schools what girls desperately need is um lesbian role models in schools and to see women being women in all different sorts of ways one of the things i was struck by when listening to some of the detransitioners um talk in Ma in a meeting i went to at manchester was a lot of them were saying well we were told when we were little girls that we didn't have to be pink and like dolls and makeup and dressing up. We were told that was fine when we were little tomboys, but actually we had no role models to look up to because when we looked up to all the women in our family, even though they were telling us this was fine, they all had long dyed hair, they wore makeup, they had the nails, they were gender conforming. So we don't want adult women to have to change themselves to be role models, but there are women out there that those little girls could have had as role models um so why don't we get them into schools so actually i think i think it's very easy to um support lesbian gay and bisexual um students whilst at the same time challenging gender identity so in canada there are lesson plans for teachers at the very young ages to challenge stereotypes unfortunately then they diverge off into gender and gender identity and so it starts off well and then it just collapses. And unfortunately, the focus is so strong on trans identity that I think that that just swamps everything. And teachers need more education on balance and critical thinking around how to address this. And I don't think it's happening. I would add something is that we need to recover um, the flag of co-education and redefine again what, what terms mean. Uh, what is non-conforming? As a social anthropologist, that's ridiculous because uh, gender is built upon uh, different markers and different activities and different expected behaviors, et cetera, in different societies. And then, of course, we know that gender can be the object of the market. And that's the critical thinking that Charlotte also was pointing out. I mean, it, it's not... Um, it's, of course, providing a diversity of role models, but it's also... Uh, taking over, taking <laughs> the lead in redefining concepts and putting them at the center of the feminist agenda and, and teachers' education. And don't, they don't have that at all right now. So I think this is, this is one of the issues here.